Thank you, and thank you for having this special order, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. Once again, I come before this chamber to ask, when will this administration address the ever-growing crisis at our southern border? Every day that passes, from sunup to sundown, our nation's immigration laws are being violated by thousands thousands of illegal border crossers. For the life of me, I don't understand why, and let me say this again, I don't understand why our commander and chief refuses to go and see the mess that he and his open border politics have created. But I've seen this crisis myself, so let me paint him a picture, and I'm going to use a paintbrush with some facts. In fiscal year 2020, 458,000 illegal aliens were apprehended at, at our southern border. That was in 2020. Fast forward to fiscal year 2021. Under President Biden's leadership, leadership, the number skyrocketed to 1.7 million. And that's not a crisis. That doesn't even warrant a pick your head up and open your eyes and go down to the border. From 458,000 to 1.7 million, I'd hate to see what a crisis would look like under, the, under his watch. Last month, more than 12,000 illegal aliens from Haiti squatted under a bridge until President Biden's Department of Homeland Security began moving those illegal aliens into the interior of our country. The problem doesn't stop with people. It doesn't stop with people coming in illegally. Illegal drugs from the border are coming to a town near you, and we're already seeing it. Again, let me use some facts. In fiscal year 2021, Border Patrol agents at the south, southwest border seized 900 pounds of fentanyl. That's what they seized. Do, doing the math, that's enough to kill nearly 200 million people. That's near, nearly two-thirds of the country. To all of my colleagues, colleagues, I beg of you, I implore you, we must fix this crisis at the border, but you can't fix a problem you don't think exists. And with that, I yield.